After trying several different things, this is how I was able to get my LG Magic Remote to connect to my Xbox Series X. You want to go to the universal control settings. An easy way to get there is the input button and then select this arrow above one of the inputs below. That'll take you to that input, but you want to hit previous. And this is where you can see all the inputs that you have connected. If you just connected your Series X with an HDMI cable and it says Xbox here and it's not working, this might work for you. So go ahead and select the Xbox input and hit delete settings and say yes. Then we're going to manually add the Xbox Series X through this counterintuitive process. There's no game console option on here, but you can select Blu-ray DVD player and hit next. And then in this menu, just hit the HDMI where your Xbox is connected and you should see what is broadcasting over HDMI. I just left these on by default. And this is the irritating step where you actually have to type in fully Microsoft because it's not a suggestion, or at least it wasn't for me. And hit enter, and you should see Microsoft. Go ahead and select it, hit next. And this is where you should see it flicker a couple of times, and there will be a power test. So you'll see, again, when it's broadcasting over the Xbox HDMI, and if you hit power, if everything went well, it should turn it off. Now, you want to make sure that the firmware on your TV is fully updated and that your remote has a direct line of sight to your Xbox this to work. One last tip. One thing that I struggled with at first, when you're in an app, say you're in a streaming app, when you navigate into the app, the way to get back is pretty intuitive. You just hit the back button on the Magic Remote, which is in the lower left. But if you keep hitting back, it just bounces you back and forth within the app, and there's no way to reactivate the Xbox menus. How you do that is at the top of the Magic Remote, to the right of the zero, you should see a button with three dots. Pressing that brings up this More Actions menu, where you can power off and go to the Home menu of the Series X. I hope that's helpful.